Hi guys, welcome to another video. So I want to quickly just get on here and tell you that this is going to be our last spa. I'm my husband's guest now that I've been out with the Marine Corps for five months, but he's getting out December. It's kind of like bittersweet. For me, I didn't get a last ball because I got out during the time of COVID, so my ball got canceled. I just want to say how crazy it is that time flew. My EAS came before like I even expected it to, and now I'm gonna be my husband's guest, but it's gonna be so much fun. My husband is telling me it's like a bittersweet experience because he is gonna miss all his Marines. Our time has come to move on to something else, and I wanted to take you along with me to just enjoy and give you a little taste of what the Marine Corps ball is. I'm gonna record clips of the ceremony, but not too much because I don't want to be disrespectful and be filming throughout the entire ceremony. And the reason why I'm even gonna be recording is because my husband is gonna be part of the color detail. He's never been part of color guard at all. The fact that he's gonna be part of the last ball that we're gonna be attending, he is completely for it, so do an outfit change right now. They're currently in slumber wear and I'm going to be wearing this gorgeous blue dress with a lot of shimmer. So let's go. So jumping right in, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Concealer to prime my lids and I love this concealer because it's tacky enough to hold the eyeshadow throughout the entire night. So with the clean brush, I just go ahead and blend everything out. And I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Nudes palette. And I love how convenient it is because it's travel friendly and all the nudes perfect for the look I'm going for. And starting with the outer corner of my eye, I'm going to be applying the eyeshadow and working my way inward. And I focus on not adding too much product and just slowly and gradually just working my way up with the second lightest color on this eyeshadow palette. I just put that on my crease and it just gives it this perfect balance of neutrals and nudes on my eyelids which is exactly what I'm going for and with a set of fill makeup remover wipe I just clean up all the fallout and I make that sharp line at the edge of my eyeshadow which just makes everything come together. Next I am using the MAC Pro Longwear in the color Black Track. And this gel liner has completely changed the game for me. I used to only wear the liquid eyeliners, but this stays on just as long and it glides on so smoothly. So moving on to eyebrows, I'm using the EVXO Brown Sculpting Pomade in the color Dark. All of their products are natural and organic, so I'm a, such a huge fan, and I'll definitely recommend it to people with sensitive skin. I'm using their foundation in this makeup look, and let me just tell you that their dewy finish foundations are everything with really great coverage and you'll see that towards the end. I'm using the Tati Lashes and you can just see how it transforms my eyes. I'm using the MAC Essential Oils and their Strobe Cream and the color Pink Light before going in with the EVXO foundation that I was mentioning earlier with really great coverage and surprisingly great formula and I say surprisingly because they're not really well known but I highly recommend it especially because they have all natural products. This foundation will leave your skin glowing and it's more on the natural side but it does leave like a skin like finish so it doesn't have that matte finish if that's what you're looking for but it's something that you can definitely build up to have more coverage and as a makeup artist you can definitely play with it with your creams. So I definitely recommend, I really do love this makeup. So with the flat brush, I applied my foundation, my highlight and contour. And with the fluffy brush, I'm gonna go ahead and just press all of that into my face to get that soft blend and full coverage. I recommend getting a smaller brush to do precise blending into your nose and get that soft finish. Then I take my wet sponge and just press in all of the product, making sure that none of the brush strokes are visible. This literally leaves your skin looking so flawless. For my eyeliner, I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil, and it's waterproof in the color Zero. Still running strong, one of my top favorites. And with powders. Oh, this one's here. Hi. Hello. 
Hello, hello. How you doing? Good. How was practice? It's a shit show. It's a shit show? Yeah, for sure. So if we fuck up, we look kind of crazy, you know? Just don't judge us. Okay, no worries. It's a shit show. So moving on, I'm using powders already on my face. I'm going in with this bronzer just to add a little bit more contour. And this is about two shades darker than my skin tone. It's a travel size friendly. And I think it's from Too Faced. And now I'm using the Estee Lauder blush again to bring more color and depth to all of my makeup. At this point of the video, I was trying so hard not to laugh because my husband was doing the dumbest things in the background. And without even trying half the time, he just, he makes me laugh. He's like the light of my day. But for the lips, I'm using the Italia in the color Natural for lip liner and L'Oreal liquid lip. So the final step is adding mascara to your lower lash. I'm using the MAC Waterproof Mascara, which is still one of my favorites. And yeah, I am all done. I'm going to be using the MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face. And I want to show you guys in different lighting how bomb my makeup looks. Like if there's any better lighting. Look. Like, look at this makeup. Damn. It's looking good. I'm gonna start with my hair and yeah. So I'm gonna be completely real with you guys. This part was a disaster. My hair was not cooperating and it looked like shit for the rest of the night, but I was okay with it because my makeup looked bomb. And my hot tools were not working. My hairspray, I had left it at home. It was just, it was not it. Although my hair looked like crap, my dress is beautiful, my makeup was on point, and it was a good night. Last birthday ball, you know, I'm excited. I'll be in detail. It's gonna be a blast. Stay tuned. Uh, so we're sword detail. That's my husband right here. No. You'll say you did your part. You answered the call. We were part of the one percent elite that is able to call ourselves United States Marines. Happy birthday, Marine. God bless you and send the light at this point the ball is pretty much over we had such a blast we were dancing all night as soon as the bar opened up after a ceremony me and my husband were one of the first ones to go get some drinks to get this party started and for being our last ball i would definitely say it was successful couldn't have asked to go out with a better group of people and yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video happy birthday marines